I'm gonna take my suit off, cause you know how he's looking. It's that face turning blue, like the boy is really crippin'. Oh my god! Oh my god! You got Scotty Pippen, you can't see it, I'm gonna kill it. Gotta remix it, you know me, I be gon' hit it, yeah. This DK hit it, yeah. You know me, I rap so hit it, you gotta hit it, yeah. You know me, whoa, I gotta send it back, whoa. I gotta block out my squares, you know me, boy, you feel like a pair of whoa. Would any other delegate be amenable to do a rap battle with Constantine? I suck at Any other delegate? Oh, yeah. He just goes, don't do national level words. <laughs> hello, hello. Justin, Justin. Talk. <laughs> Try to figure out what the etymology is. It's probably Greek. Cristal or Grafia. Yeah, that is Greek. Are you Greek? Yes. You look Greek. Why? That's why I'm Greek. Did you say he doesn't look Greek? No, I said Greek? are you Greek. I said hey, that's my Greek boy. Okay. Okay. It is Greek. Yes. It is Greek. Definition? Definition? The branch of science concern. That's not it. That's not it. That's crystallography. That's the word. You clearly don't know. What's the word? Crystallography. Huh? What's the word? Crystallographer? Crystallography. It's E. It's crystallography. Look at the word. It's oh, it's crystallographer. All right. Crystallography. C R Y S T A L L L G R A P H E R. That is correct, delegate. Give it to Marcus, please. That's harder. All right. Third grade vocabulary. I want to see. Thank you, delegate, for that well-spelled word. <laughs> no, no. Um, you can't look. I can see his words. This is the man. Woe be goneness. Will you repeat the word, please? Woe be goneness. Stop. 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 It's the origin is old English. Old English. Thank you, Constance. You're very welcome, Amy. All right. Hey, we'll be gone this. W O or an E, probably. W O E B E G O N E L E S S. We'll be gone this. Oh. No. That is incorrect, delicate piece. I don't even know what the word is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, here we go. Neuter game. What? What's the word? Neuter Thank you, delegate. Thank you, delegate, for that well timed speech. Alright, you're done. Burger King foot lettuce. Last thing you want in your Burger King burger is someone else's foot lettuce. Good morning. It is 6.08. practice again. Not 
super tired, but I still think I'm gonna take a nap. Because you can always use a nap. I'm in the public bathroom today. I wanted to be in the public bathroom because there's a weird area in the public bathroom where there's like nothing, but there's a wall covering it. And I do like sleeping there. I usually sit in there during dance week when I when I avoid people. But the public bathroom is locked, so I'm in the public locker room. I didn't want to go into the private locker room because I'd have to walk on deck to get there because the other door was locked. Um, and I didn't even bring my stuff today. So yeah. Um, yeah. Yesterday I finished my Model UN conference. Um, I ended up getting the Honorable Delegate Award, which is really cool. Um, I really want to super hone in on my skills this year so that when I come back next year to HMUN 3, I can get most, I can get Outstanding Delegate or even Best Delegate. Because the thing with Best Delegate is that you win a gavel. And I think that'd be really fucking cool to win a gavel. So, other, and like other competitions or conferences in the area are like really competitive. And I don't know if I'd be able to win the gavel there. But maybe like other local conferences maybe. But like, I really want a gavel, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. I'm gonna take a nap now. Hey guys, this is a new clip. I don't know if you can tell on iMovie, but it is. Um, forgot the clips you saw before this were clips from Fun Mun. So, like, obviously, I was at a Model UN conference. Model UN is M U N, so people just call it Mun. And Fun Mun is when your committee drafts a res or passes a draft resolution before um the time before committee ends like the time is present so you just go into most of the time you do superlatives but um superlatives got kind of boring so we our chair constantine he's the guy in the maroon shirt started a rap battle with the delegation of israel he was the guy in the gray suit um, the delegation of Israel was fucking a great rapper. And it was kind of iconic. And then after that, we did a spelling bee because Adi, our moderator, I think he was a moderator. He might have been an, an assistant chair, but I'm pretty sure he was a moderator. Um, he is a national spelling bee competitor. And it, like a spelling bee competitor on national level. So everyone challenged him. It was fun. I, fun one is always a good time. Um, and the delegation of Iraq. Not gonna lie. She first walked in and I was a bit intimidated because she, had, she was very good. But towards like when we were debating our draft resolutions, I realized she's pretty cute. And I don't know where her name was. I just know her as Iraq. She was cute. She was really smart. And I would bang her, for sure. I'd also probably bang my whole dais, which was my chair, two assistant chairs, and moderator as the dais. Um, yeah, that's all. I have one percent battery, but my phone, so my phone might die in the middle of this, but it is currently 7.35. I will be for summer school soon, but I was, so I'm in a stall in the ba in the bathroom part of the locker room in case, like, someone comes in from swim and just avoiding them, and I was just, like, sitting on the floor in the stall watching a YouTube video. Like, you can see me from under the stall. When someone, I have no idea who they were dead ass just walks in. 
It, it was an experience, let me tell you that. What's up, Charlotte? I'm starting packing for my trip. I leave tomorrow for Houston. And look, I have my second model UN placard. Germany on Dysec. This is my first one. I was Australia on FIFA. This is my placard collection. That's fun. I'm going to start packing. I have a list on the notes app with my phone. I need to take the nail polish off my fingers as well. But I have to check my list. I think I'm going to time lapse me packing. So if I'm watching that. What's up, Char? Um, oh, you can't see the windows go up from the window. That's weird. Um, wow, Mickey pushed the seat back and I cannot reach the pedals. He's not that much taller than me. Um, don't know what that's about. It's kind of hot in my car and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. That sucks. Um, oh, someone was turning and I didn't see them. But to be fair, I can't really see that street from my driveway. So, I'm sorry, sir. Um, I pa I packed almost all of my things. I only it only took me like 15, 20 minutes. My mom said I was gonna take forever. It's shockingly it didn't. Um, yeah. I just need to pack my carry on. I need to pack my toothpaste. Uh, I'm gonna open the one. I don't care if you can hear it or if people can hear me. It's fucking hot in here. Um, I need to pack my toothpaste because I have a different toothbrush that I'm bringing, but I do not have different toothpaste. So, have to, after I brush my teeth tomorrow morning, have to throw that in. Um, God, that breeze feels good. I don't know how much you can hear me, but it feels so good. in that one going out the other just like knowledge does through my ears <laughs> so um yeah when I get to work I'm gonna review the list that I made for myself a black Toyota Civic my friend Jackie drives a black Civic it was not Jackie though um Yeah, I don't think I forgot anything. There's some, so like, the Youth Leadership Summit, the people putting it on made a point, like, that everyone brings khaki pants. Like, everyone has to bring khaki pants for the flag ceremony. I think that's going to be on Wednesday, I'm not sure. Um, so my mom bought me khaki pants literally yesterday, or two days ago. And I didn't wash them. They're like a teensy, teensy, teensy bit wrinkly. But I did not wash them because I'm lazy. So, oh well. If I've, uh, wrinkly khakis, that, that sucks. Oh well. Um, yeah. So I have all my shirts and my shorts packed. I have my khakis packed. I have my toiletries except for toothpaste. I have my makeup, I have all my shoes. I'm bringing four pairs of shoes and wearing a different pair. Okay, I'm gonna put these up. I'm wearing heels, which, not super sure how that'll go, but you know, it's an experience, we'll find out. But I'm wearing nice clothes, so I wanna wear nice shoes when I fly, not like gym shoes. So, you know, but also like, I don't see why people make flying such a big deal. I mean, maybe if you're flying internationally, that makes sense. What time is it? I have to, my shift starts in 12 minutes. I don't know how far away I am. That's, I don't know how long it'll take. Um, it'll take less than 12 minutes. I, I'll probably be walking in right at 45, but that's whatever. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I don't know why people make such a big deal out of flying. 
unless it's like international because like you just go in walk in check a bag if you have to um go through security get on your plane and then land like then yeah, i mean bag check kind of sucks but you know it should be like that yeah, it really sucks is when you have to wait for oversized baggage because I had to when I went fly with van. I flew. Fly is not a word. When I flew with van, I had to bring my tuba. Obviously, that was oversized. Oh my god, it's so hot. I'm sweating. I'm going to walk into work and people are going to be like, Manny, why did you wear a long sleeve shirt? You're sweating. And I'm going to be like, listen, my house is cold. My school is cold. My life is cold. My soul is cold. I'm in a good mood. Um, so yeah. I don't have much else to say. I still have to take off my nail polish. Oh, in the time lapse. If you see me just sitting in front of the camera for like five to ten minutes real world time, not time less time, but real world time. Um, that's me sewing my my pajama shorts because there's like a giant tear in this seam. Well, there was. There's a giant tear in the seam, but I wanted to bring them because they're my favorite pajama shorts. They're actually my only pajama shorts. And so I had to sew that up real quick. I probably would have like completely finished packing if I didn't have to sew that. But oh well. Ow, I fuck hit my funny bone. Um, so yeah. I need to, I'm bringing a, um, what's it called? Oh, uh, what's the thing called that you put nice clothes in? A garment bag. I'm bringing a garment bag for, cause I have a dress that I'm wearing. Cause there's like a prom on the last day, but it's not like a prom prom. It's like, just like, you know, a li like sort of like a middle school dance type of deal. So, I have like a nice dress. It's not like floor length or anything. It's just, you know, cute little dress. I'm gonna wear the shoes that I'm flying in. Might do makeup, probably won't feel like it. No, I'll definitely do makeup. I don't know if I'll do makeup every other day though. Cause I am lazy. I'm going. And they're making me get up at six in the morning, which I can do just fine. I just don't want to. I'm arriving at the building and it is 5.37. I think I am fine. Um, I wonder if people are on the other side of the lot. I'm going just in case they aren't. Don't go, ah, you motherfucker. Didn't cause any problems, but it looked like it might have. Ah, no one's on this side of the lot. Thank God. Um, that was a guy walking by the side of the road drinking a beer. That's kind of weird. See, I'm at work. Um, I don't know if I'm going to time lapse or like me packing my, the rest of my stuff. But, we'll see. I will, oh, I was supposed to take my mom's car. Son of a bitch. She's gonna be pissed. But I forgot. I have to call her now. So, I'll talk to you later. I remembered what I was gonna say. I have to open my garage door manually because it is broken. But, um, I'm actually not going to post vlogs for the next few days. Do what you did with New Orleans. Um... And just make a big cute vlog. I haven't watched a new Orleans vlog yet. I know I should have, but you know, it's busy. <sighs> so, yeah. Mom's car isn't here. I wonder if she's home. Oh, I pulled up too far. There we go. Alrighty. So, I'll text you. I'll probably call you while I'm packing. Oh, if I time lapse, I can't call you. Maybe I won't time lapse. I think I'll call you instead. Good plan. Good plan.
has his front. There we go. Nice and sideways, the way we like it. <sighs> um, work was good. Um, I teach intro to water babies and no, I try to blah, 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 intro to water tykes and learn to swim level four. And all of my kids are doing amazing. Um, this guy's trying to leave, but little does he know he can't go out that way because, as I was going to get to later, oh, there's Eva. Hi, Eva. Chinty. Um, the other exit that I usually leave out of is blocked off because there were gunshots heard at the end of the street. So we think that it was just there's a farm owner on who lives on the end of the street and we think it was just him like shooting at some birds or stuff but you know the police have got to go investigate oh Allison went that way and she, she knows so I wonder how she's gonna I mean she's probably going down um yeah my mother is quite pissed at me for forgetting to take her car but you know what you gonna do about it Um, but yeah, as I was saying, my lessons, kids, like, my, it's day three out of eight, and my level fours can almost do everything on their test, which is on day seven, so that'll be fucking great, and next month, so today's Monday, next Monday is the first day that we're doing it without parents, so yeah, shit's gonna be sick. Um, all the intro kids are fucking adorable. Uh, oh my god, there's a dog! Oh, oh, he was so cute, it was Yellow Lab! Um, they're so cute, there's five of them. Every day only four show up though, different ones are missing every time. I'm not gonna say their names, cause you know, privacy, and I like keeping my job, so I'm gonna keep that privacy. But, like, we have kid one. Not the biggest fan of swimming, at least when he's with his dad, but when I grab him, he's fine. So that's great. Kid two. He knows his name. He's three. He likes to tell me that. He looks at me and goes, I'm three. One, two, three. I go, good job, buddy. And he goes, my name is, let's, we're going to make up a name for him. We're gonna say his name is Maggie. It's not, that's my name. He goes, my name is Maggie. M-A-G-G-I-E, Maggie. So cute. And then there's another kid, kid three. Uh, the first few days, the first, lessons one and two, um, his mom forgot his swimsuit, so he was with my aide, Eva. He loves going underwater. He just wants to swim on his own. Can't wait to work with him. I. I'm going to put him in Eva's class. So on day five, we split the classes. And we split the kids into two classes. Well, however many kids are, how, however many classes are instructors. There's not a lot of instructors because there's only five kids. So I'm going to put him in Eva's class because, like, he was working with Eva's day one and two. But I wish he was in my class. I'm going to put kid two in my class, though. I think I'm going to put kid one and kid two in my class. And also, kid four, who is a girl, and she is so funny. She is sassy. She does not like swimming, and she wants you to know that. And I love that. She gives me a good laugh every time. Also, her mom is a hoot and a half. Like, not in a bad way or anything, I just love her mom. And then, my level, there are four level fours that I have. One of them was not here. That's okay. He does well. He's a good swimmer. Uh, kid 2, also a good swimmer. Not much to say. They know how to swim. We're just like stroke refining. I was going to go over brush stroke kicks today, but I did not have time because I spent too long on backstroke. Oops. We'll do that later. They're fine. Uh, kid 3 in my level 4. She is amazing. I literally don't know how she's not a level 5. She can do everything. Uh, oh, they 
repainted the lines. They're so crisp and I know where the turn line is. Wow, this is nice. And this kid four, he's he's a hoot and a half. He, today he told me that he was gonna give me his um uh Minecraft username so we could play Minecraft together. I'm going to politely decline because I don't want to play Minecraft with uh, my lessons kids. I think that's weird. But he sweet he swims so like he has great technique but. He just moves so... What's the word I'm looking for? It starts with an L. Lugubriously. He just moves, like, sluggishly. Like, he just pulls his arm out at his own pace. And then next time, like, it all looks fine. It's just in slow, literal slow motion. And once I was like, hey... On the first lesson, I was like, hey, buddy, like... Could you, like... It looks fantastic. Can you just like speed it up? Like I want to see you go as fast as you can. He's like, you want me to put my jets on? I was like, yeah, do it. Put your jets on. And I swear to God, he went slower. But you know, they don't test you on speed. So, I don't know. See, so, yeah, that's how work went. Now I'm going to go home, finish packing. I have to, well, first I'm going to eat because I'm fucking hungry. I'm gonna pack. I have two blazers, a blouse, and a dress to put in the garment bag. I don't know which garment bag I'm bringing yet. I have a big one that would have to be checked and a carry-on one. I don't really like the carry-on one, but I also don't feel like checking two bags. But I think I'm gonna use the checked one anyways because I don't. I I don't think I think. I don't think the carry-on one would work well. Yeah, so I have two blazers, a dress, a blouse to put in there. Um, I think that's it to be put in the garment bag. I'm trying to think of what else I have to pack. Oh, I set out some bras. I didn't know what bras I would want to wear each day. So I'm just bringing a bunch of bras. I have, basically I own like four bras that I wear. Well, I own like seven bras, but I'm not bringing any of my sports bras because we're too emotionally attached to those. Because those are where we wear mostly every day. So I'm gonna bring my, I'm gonna wear my wired nude bra. I'm gonna bring my wired black bra um, to put under my dress for like the prom thing. I'm gonna, and then I'm also gonna bring my unwired nude bra and my unwired black bra. I think I'll wear my unwired nude bra with um uh my white t-shirts that they have us wear for team building activities. Um I don't know if I'll ever wear my unwired black bra but you never know when you're gonna need it you know because I'm not here for wired bras. Well, also, I've been wearing them a lot recently, so maybe I'm not here for unwired bras anymore. But, it's not today's problem, and it can't be that bad. So, why do you keep breaking? So, yeah, that's, that's how it be. I need to pack my carry-on. I need to throw my Chromebook in there. Um phone charger. I don't know what charger yet. Um, I have my portable charger and my block in there. I just need to put the actual cord. I have my earbuds in there. I have my pencil case and I have my journal because you never know when you're going to want a journal. Um, what else do I need? I need to bring my book. Hopefully I'll read on the plane. Um, usually I say I'm going to read on planes and then I, I think that girl is a graduated senior from my freshman year. I didn't know she lived in my neighborhood. It might not have been her. I don't think she saw me. But yeah, um, I don't know what else I need to throw on my carry-on. I need to throw some snacks in there, you know cannot live without the snacks. 
I don't know if I need anything else. I'll probably call you tonight and double check because you would know better than I do because you travel a lot. But for now, I'm gonna let you go. I think, sure, I'll do another time lapse of me packing. Why not? Um. I was gonna say something, but I can't remember what it was. My bun is stuck on the visor. Can I push it back with my bun? I need a shit, shit shower shave tonight. I'm not really in a shitting mood, but I definitely need a shower and shave. What was I gonna say? Damn it, I don't remember. Hi, Sean. It is 11 at night. I was going to call you, but you did not answer. Um, I'm a little bit ticked off because there are pants that I want to wear tomorrow. And I just found out that instead of putting these pants in my bag that I wanted to, I put those pants in and they're at the bottom. So now I have to unpack everything to get them out. So fuck. So it is 12.05. I've painted one hand of nails, waiting for it to dry well, so I can post paint these. And then I have to take a shower, have to shave, have to empty and clean my menstrual cup. Not that that's hard, but I just have to remember because it'll overfill if I don't remember. Um, yeah, it's going to be a late night. Oops. But I'm waking up five hours later than normal. Three hours. Three hours later than normal, so it's really nice. Also, I can sleep on the plane. But, um, yeah, I, I caught up on your vlogs, which was fun. I love watching your vlogs. I know I... We talked about this before, where I don't absorb things well. So I don't know what happened, but the last thing you talked about was, like... How my, like, good luck at my conference yesterday and stuff. Yeah, that was yesterday. Wow. That was yesterday. I was at work five, five hours ago, and it feels like forever ago. I can't believe the conference was just yesterday. But, um, yeah, uh, obviously, I told you this morning, and you saw it on my Snapchat story, I got honorable delegate. And here's the thing, like, at first I was like, oh, it's just an honorable mention, like, whatever. But, like, throughout the course of the day, like, I thought about it more and, like, no. Like, I'm proud of that. Like, this was only my second ever conference. And at my first conference, like, I was terrified. I didn't even, like, I never got up. I think I said one speech, and that was went on the speakers list at the start. Um... So yeah, and like it was a conference, like it's a summer. Conferences usually aren't held in summer. It was made specifically for like kids going into freshman year interested in Model UN. So that they could like try it out and see what conferences are like. So like, it's not like I had like hard competition. But, I don't know. I'm so proud of myself because like I did go up and I said a lot of speeches and they were well informed and when they weren't, People didn't know that because I'm decent at bullshitting things. Um, like, towards the end, um, when we were writing our draft resolutions, I was running block, our block, but then, like, it was just me and a bunch of guys, and the other guys kind of took over. Which means whatever. Like, it was, like, the end of a tiring weekend. I couldn't manage people for that long um but yeah no I'm proud of it but what I want more than anything is to get best delegate I have junior and senior year to get best delegate and I don't know cause like I don't know if I explained this but honorable best position paper and the two honorable mentions get um a certificate the two outstanding delegates got trophies but the best delegate got a gavel which is like i'm sure that you know. was weird i got a call from a number that's not my contact but whatever 
I'm sure you know what a gavel is, but it's like the bangy thingy that judges use. I need to get best delegate because I need a gavel. I need to win a gavel. Like, obviously, I can order a gavel on Amazon, but like, I need to win a gavel. That would be fucking awesome. That would be so cool. I don't know if all conferences do that. I know big ones do because I know that my chair, Constantine, he he won his gavel, gavel at, I think he said Northwestern's. I got a notification. Can I see? It was the number and it said, sorry, I called like a weirdo. Slip my hand. Let me see if I can see who that was. I'm gonna see if I have the, if I've texted that number before. Maybe some from work. Hang on. All right, I've never texted them before, so I said, "Who is this?" Question mark. I'm gonna wait for them to respond. Also, I've been playing with this. Can we talk about how curly this hair is? That's how humid it is outside. Oh, it's my friend April. She can say, "Oh, what's up." I said, ah, oh, sick, LMAO. Um, but yeah, no, like, I don't know if they do the gavels at, so my chair, Constantine, he was the chair of my committee, die sick. Uh, April said LMAO, love that. Um, die sick is disarmament in international security. I forgot what the game is here. I don't know, fuck no. Something, I don't know. But he got his gavel, I believe, at the Northwestern Mun Conference. <laughs> or maybe University of Chicago. And he was quite proud of it. I want a gavel so badly. That'd be so fucking cool. Like, imagine just, like, walking into college and, like, setting a gavel down on the bookshelf. In front of my cool collection of books because I'm cool and I like books. Just kidding, I'm a fucking nerd, but I love books. And my roommate's like, what's that? It's like, oh, that's my gavel. I won HMUN3. No biggie. Um, oh, that'd be so cool. So yeah, I don't know if smaller conferences do that. Because we definitely went to Lyman this past year. And I definitely want to go again because it was fun. And it was only a, a one day thing. So it would be cool. Thanks, my nails are dry. I don't know. Can you... They're weirdly textured. Like, it looks like they have, like, air pockets on them. Alright, just a little bit more time drying. Um, it's taken forever. Um... Yeah, no, but I don't know, I just, I want a gavel so badly. Oh. It's like, I don't know, this conference has really made me feel more confident in my intelligence, which is something that I've always been insecure about. This, this makes me feel good. And I like feeling good. So yeah. I want a fucking gavel. I think that's gonna be all for tonight. Um, I do have a problem, but by the time I post this, it'll be too late. But, like, I can't find my cotton pads anywhere. And I need to bring them so that I can remove my makeup at the conference. Because I have micellar water, but I do not have cotton pads. So, um, that's an issue. I don't know how I'm gonna solve that. But, oh well, I guess. I guess I'll have to figure it out. Oh, I forgot to pack towels. Fuck. I need towels for when I shower. I have clean towels. But I 
don't know if there's room in my suitcase. And also, I don't want to, like, get up and redo my suitcase. Oh. That's so annoying. Oh, well. Oh, I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier, but I'll just put it in here. Um, just to remind you, we talked about it earlier, but I am going to do similarly what you did for New Orleans and not just take a bunch of footage throughout the whole time I'm in Houston and then post it in one vlog later. Edit it, actually edit it down for once in my fucking life. So yeah, um... Otherwise, I don't, I don't know. I'm excited to meet my roommate. I don't know who they are. I don't know. I don't even know where they're from. Like, they could be from another country. Like, that's fucking crazy. Also, I don't want to be rude, but I kind of hope they're not from another country because, like, I, I'm really bad at understanding accents. I'm the absolute worst. And also, like, what if their first language isn't English? Like, I don't know any other language. And, like, I need to be, like, because I have a lot of music to practice for my voice lessons. And I need to, like, be like, hey, I need to practice. And I apologize, but, like, this is how it is. And if they don't speak English that well, like, how could I do that? Also, like, I want to, like, have deep conversations. Not deep, but, like... I remember there was one night when we were at Carthage Swim Camp together. It was you. It was you. Me. Jordan. I don't know if you remember Jordan. I'm so tight with her. Um. Fiona. I don't rem Alexis was probably in the room, but I don't remember her being there. Um. And like we all just kind of sat in. I think it was Jordan's room. Uh, maybe it was Alexis and Fiona's. We all just kind of sat in there and, like, talked about deep shit. Like, you talked about your eating disorder, which was how I found out that you had one. Joan talked about depression. I remember I wanted to talk about depression and anxiety, but I couldn't. So I sat there and I was silent. I thought about that for a really long time afterwards, but now I'm fine. But, like, I want to have that experience again. So yeah, I don't know, but I'm excited, I'm really excited for the leadership summit, I'm also really excited for this year coming year modeling on, so that's all, I love you, bye bye.